probably the biggest plus for our students is once they're here, they realize that they're somebody. Our instructors know the students by name. They know a little bit about them. Our faculty care. They know if our students are in class. They know what kind of progress they're making. They're available to them during office time. They're available before class, after class, and pretty much any time the students want to contact them. So I think that's a big plus. I think one of the best uh, drawing factors for BRTC uh, is that uh, a lot of students right out of high school, they aren't sure whether they're ready for college or not. And this is a chance for them to actually equate what they've learned in high school and what the challenges in college are going to be. I think students are getting a quality education and I think the students are really, really impressed uh, about the quality that we do have here. It's homey. All the instructors if you give them the opportunity to get to know you, they'll know you by name. They'll call you out at Walmart and ask you how you're doing in your classes after you've left theirs or see you in the hallway and just ask how you're doing and whatever that you're working in. We're all rooting for the students to do their very best and to be successful and to go on with their future goals and, and to accomplish those. As the concurrent coordinator, there are a lot of high school students that participate in the concurrent program. Uh, they can take classes in high school and get college credit for it and these classes will transfer to four-year schools. This is a great place to start out, get your basics. If you don't know what you're going to do, start here, get what you need and maybe in the two years that you have what you want, you'll be able to go on to a bigger university that maybe has more degree plans and programs. We have made great strides in offering the courses that are globally accepted within Arkansas and within the United States. We give them the two-year degree so that when they do transfer, these courses are accepted by all schools in Arkansas and they will enter as a junior at these four institutions. Our technical programs include anything from a certificate of proficiency, which may be one semester or less. And then we have technical certificates, and these are typically two semesters. We have two technical certificates in auto technology. One is auto body, auto collision repair, and the other is automotive service technology. And then if they combine that with a computer class, they can become a master technician. We try to give you the basics for all different types of vehicles, brands of vehicles. It pretty well encompasses everything that you might come, uh, come up around in a normal automotive shop. First semester, you know, we give them uh, estimating, we give them basic welding, then we go into a, a, a lot of painting as well as the frame alignment. Most people think of body shops first, but most certainly it opens you up to anything to do with an automobile. We have a welding technical certificate and those students can certify in different types of welding with the American Welding Society so when they go out they've already got their AWS certification and then also that something that's new with our business offerings is we have an associate of science degree an AS in business and this is a degree that allows students to get everything that they need in their core business courses. It would be the first two years toward a bachelor's degree in business. Technology is constantly changing so students have to constantly be learning but we give them a good grounding knowledge that they can go on and build from to continue out in the field. There's just a ton of opportunity that we can send our students out to and most of them leave prepared ready to fill these type of positions. We also have an 18 month or three semester certificate program for licensed practical nursing. Um, we're very proud of this program. We have um, a very high completion rate and over the last two semesters we've had a 100% pass rate when they set their NCLEX boards. So we feel like we're doing a great job preparing those licensed practical nurses to go out and work in healthcare. Nationwide, we have a severe nursing shortage. With the nursing shortage, they won't have any problem finding a job, won't have to worry about hospitals shutting down or having to embark on a third career. Nursing is a career that you can retire in. What we do is we endeavor to give the students a real life scenario so that they can relate to that because we have found in the research that if you give students real life scenarios, they are better prepared, they are more confident, they can assert themselves a lot easier and actually affect good outcomes in the real setting. Well, I've always been interested in the medical field and um, I did some researching 
And so I looked at Black River. I'd heard good things about it, and it was very economical for me. I'm uh, a wife and a mother of two. It was the right thing for me. As they go to the clinical sites, many of the sites are um, actually talking to our students already about coming to work for them when they graduate. In the program, I got a job my first week of clinicals um, working as a phlebotomist. I enjoy it 100 percent. We are also part of ARNEC, which is the Arkansas Rural Nursing Education Consortium, and we're one of eight colleges across the state of Arkansas. This allows us to have an RN program. It's an Associate of Applied Science degree in Registered Nursing. They can get all their prereqs here. It's a LPN to RN transition program, so we only admit licensed practical nurses. They come in, we admit a class in January, they graduate in December, they have their associate's degree, and then they set the NCLEX for their RN boards. Math is, is pretty crucial. You have some respiratory care calculations. That's a class you will take in the program, so uh, college algebra is very beneficial beforehand to take before. So they do have some great prerequisites set up for you to prepare you. Some people struggle terribly with math, but I believe with the, the staff and faculty that we have here, with the courses that we have available, the programs we have available, that so many of those students that have struggled uh, have come back to me and said, you know, that wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. You know, I really get it now. We have a choir. It's a lot of fun and it's not just um, focused on singing. We have people who play instruments also that can join in. We perform for local organizations. We perform on campus. We have a spring concert. We perform at um, churches and just different events. It's important to have an education now because more and more police officers do have some type of degree so to be competitive in the law enforcement world you need to have some type of degree yourself and most kids when they graduate high school are around 18 years old and you have to be 21 to be a police officer so it's a perfect time to pick up your college uh, credits and uh, get a degree and it makes you far more competitive in the world and there are opportunities in the criminal justice field. This program offers students coming in to be firefighters. If they want to get their fire science degree here, their associate's degree, and go on to other profession as far as like in the fire service, there's things like fire engineering. They can get their bachelor's degree in that and go to work for an engineering firm designing sprinkler systems. And having this background, knowing what fire loads are, how fire works, how fires are put out, actually helps in that department also. There's nothing like going inside a burning building or popping the top off somebody's car or, you know, it's one of those things you've kind of you've got to experience for yourself. And having instructors that give you the leeway to, to make your own decisions, and make your own choices, it's a fun ride. Good instructors, good staff, good students that you're with. There are IFSAC certified classes that they can take with them anywhere in the United States, they'll be good. Any state that they want to go to, there are IFSAC certified certificates that goes with them. Our online classes are our most common, our most popular because all of the course material and the course content is delivered over the computer through our course management system. They use that system to post grades or post materials. A lot of instructors post their lectures or their lecture material. This is the home screen to the website and Moodle is very easy to access from our website. You click on the Moodle link and it takes you directly to our DE website and you click on Moodle and it takes you directly to the login screen where you would log in. I always look at price, <laughs> number one. Look at the cost that you're going to take the same exact classes here that you would take in a four-year university and you know it's not even a third of the price. I thought it would be neat just to come down here local to home and it's very affordable so I thought that was a good way to go. One thing I want to make sure that students realize is that there is a possibility of being able to go to college. There is a way to meet those financial challenges that they may face. One of the main scholarships that I like to tell students about is our Academic Distinction Scholarship. And the way a student qualifies for that is either by attaining a minimum of a 24 on the ACT or by top 10% ranking in their graduating class. I got the Academic Distinction. You get 24 or higher on your ACT. You get that. That's full tuition for all four semesters of college. 
and then I got um, the foundation scholarship. It's a thousand for your first two semesters. And then I got the Pell Grant, so everything is paid. The best time to apply for federal aid, which would be the Pell Grant program, is right after January 1st of your senior year. I got a Pell Grant, and I could pay for the tuition and my books with just a Pell Grant. I didn't have to get any student loans. So that's the number one reason that I chose Black River, because I didn't want to be in debt when I graduated. We participate in Arkansas Career Pathways, which is a program funded by the state of Arkansas. Students who have a dependent child and who meet income guidelines can qualify for assistance with tuition, with fees, with books, supplies. They also may meet qualifications to get help with purchasing gasoline. So Career Pathways has been very beneficial to many of our students and, and allowed some folks to come to school who didn't think that there were possibilities because of those life obligations that already existed. We're all going to be here to help you if you ever have any questions concerning financial aid and, and any questions about what types of aid are out there for you to apply for. It's a great school. There's great people. They'll help you in any way give you scholarships, they'll help pay for anything, any way that they can to help you. You're going to get a quality education here. We really promote an idea of awareness and allowing the students to make the decision and make judgments and have ownership of what they're learning. I would encourage anyone to come look at us, come try us, you know, um, because I believe we've got um, something for everyone. Here at BRTC, they care. We chose BRTC. And, and so, so can, can you. you. At BRTC, we say if you can dream it and believe it, you can achieve it.